I think what's really great is that this place turned into an, a space that was really unusable before. It was just a mud pit. And now it has essentially become just another extension of the house itself. I went through a, a big process trying to understand how to build a deck. I'd never built a deck before. Um, looked at the traditional way where you set your concrete into the ground, looking below the frost line, trying to understand what the cost would be associated with that. I saw somebody had used tough blocks to create their floating deck, much bigger size. And I was like, you know what? I could definitely do that. So this deck right here, it probably took me, I wanna say about two weeks from start to finish. Really the framing and the leveling really took only a day. It was really the more intricate cuts of laying the deck boards that took me a, a bit of a longer time. Things usually don't go the way you expect them, especially the first time. But with this, it just, the leveling worked out really well. Placing them worked out. If I needed to make a small adjustment, that was really straightforward. So when we come over here, you'll see that I have got wonderful stucco, um, but then I have this lip right here and I already had a step down right here in my space. So the issue with this is that as soon as you step down, it can only be a certain drop down. You can't have um, a huge step. And that's actually a code thing, which I learned online. Again, I am not a professional. The best moment was when I was able to lay this forced running board right here and it just perfectly slid underneath the lip of the stucco and it was able to be angled away from the house so that I could still deal with the runoff from the water and things like that. Because we do get a lot of rain here in Houston, Texas. Um, but just having all those small pieces come together was just an absolute perfect moment. Again, you're not gonna be able to do that without the tough blocks because this space, I think I only had about eight, seven inches really to work with. And in my personal building experience, I wanted to use the two by sixes because the two by six allows a little, for a little bit more sturdiness. Um, so having the tough blocks only raise that up about two inches really gave me that like nice tight fit that I was looking for right up next to the house. Having this like literally changed my house and literally like my return on investment completely like changed as well. So I think my, my friend who is also my realtor came over here and she was like, wow, you've just added so much value to your house by doing this. And I tell her how I did it. And she's absolutely amazed that it was completely a DIY project. It has essentially become just another extension of the house itself. So now, you know, I get to spend spring out here. I'll read out here. I work from home. So it's like a little office, essentially. Um, really just enjoying my morning coffees out here. Uh, Lily definitely enjoys it. She'll take a lot of naps on the deck as well. So that's been really great. I would definitely recommend Tough Block because it gives you the flexibility to create an extension of your home. It gives you the ability to save money and it gives you the ability to build something that will last for a very long time.